Hello there folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel, a place where I discuss different topics about spirituality, introspection and other ideas that, well, I prefer speaking about. Uh, at times I actually respond to different people, usually on Quora, on topics like sociology, psychology at times, uh, and I provide people with different uh, answers. My point about providing people with value is giving them an extra point, uh, an opinion that most likely many people won't take in, uh, most likely they won't think of. I usually prefer pre bringing my answers as a response and, you know, as a means of showing people that there's always other ways of interpreting something and I prefer reminding people that, well, um, everything I present is part of my own experience, so don't rush in taking whatever I say for granted. Now, I feel that um, it is high time I present my point of view on the topic of, of uh, face masks and for now I won't dive too much into the idea of uh, you know conspiracy theories and the such because most people will simply desperately fight for the system that they live in because desperation has it in such a way that even, even if the greatest pains uh, succumb a certain person, they will simply choose to remain there because it gives them a certain amount of control. And, well, the oligarchy that rules the world definitely know this and they are trying desperately whatever they can to, you know, snatch all the rights of people because, as you can see, ever since the coronavirus appeared, there is nothing else than simply removing people's rights because you know, you're forced to stay indoors, you're forced to wear a face mask and, you know, um, more and more people with, you know, lower brain functions will actually end up policing you if you don't use a mask because they will, these people will desperately use, uh, you know, they will desperately use any resource they have to uh, preserve the system as is because these people fight against change any change is a nightmare for them because it is no longer um, enjoyable, okay, it is no longer comfortable. So the point about this is I'm also placing my bets that sooner or later um, there will also be a shift in the idea of, uh, of fashion, right, there will be porn videos that will appear, there will be all sorts of videos that will appear and even in uh, fashion displays, there will be uh, models wearing face masks because it is a process called um, predictive programming. It is a way in which something is shown to people so that in time they get to accept it. And when the uh, real deal appears, people already treat it as natural. And the way face masks have been treated as of late, many people are already uh, comfortable with those. and. Uh, again, they would embrace any amount of pain. If we are to go like truly deeply introspective like I would go, this goes a long time ago when all sorts of parasitic entities learned how to bypass the human mind and how to create misery for others and how to exploit that misery to gain control over the uh, human's minds. Ever wonder why you have so many thoughts that uh, simply don't belong to you and thoughts that at most you wouldn't even do, well, this is one of the possible solutions. Now the mind can only create things based on what you have been feeding it, so if you have been feeding your mind uh, incorrectly, you have been feeding it all sorts of weird thoughts, well, that's most likely what your mind will produce. Your mind is a device that constantly produces, it's not going to stop, you cannot stop your mind, it will only stop when, well, the mind can only be stopped when the body perishes, let's say it like this. Now the point of face masks and one thing that I really want to underline if people most likely haven't gotten the chance to read the, for example, the packaging that gives, you know, that carries the masks, well people most likely haven't had the chance to read that but on packages that carry these face masks it actually says it does not protect against viruses. 
Now to any person that would be very simple enough and wouldn't understand why face masks actually don't help you against viruses and why they can actually make you even worse in terms of health, well it is very simple. Have you ever wondered how small a virus is? Well, let's say the human cell is, well, quite very small. It's well, some of them are somewhat visible. If you look at your skin, some of them can actually be uh, seen, but you have to have a very clear eyesight. Now, the point about a human cell, we can understand that it is very small. Compared to that, a bacteria is a thousand times smaller than a uh, skin cell, right? A, well, a human cell, let's say. Compared to a bacteria, the virus is a thousand times smaller, which results in the virus being around one million times smaller than, uh, let's say, the usual animal uh, cell, okay, let's say the human cell. Now, something that is one million times smaller, okay, you can understand that that size equates somewhere around nanometers, okay, it's technically a nanoparticle, okay. What a virus is, is nothing else than a bit of RNA, right? And that is protected at least partly by something called a capsid, if I remember correctly from virusology. And, well, that's what a virus is. It's not even capable of replicating, so it needs a host. A host which usually it's bacteria or, well, larger cells, human cells or animal cells, which they easily invade and, well, they rewrite the genetical code of their host so that when those beings um, replicate, they instead replicate the virus. Pretty ingenious for something that's so small, right? Now, I'm telling this because there are many people who end up believing that just because we are humans, we are the most advanced species on this planet. But let's not forget that we are also one of the, you know, youngest races on this planet. Now, regarding face masks, don't ever believe the point that, uh, you know, it will actually protect you from something that's nanoparticles in diameter, okay? Because the face mask will never ever be able to protect you against something like that, right? It's never ever gonna protect you. You can lie yourself anytime and any amount of times you want, okay? But I'm just telling you the truth. The medics only use that because, well, it is needed so that, you know, when they do surgery and they stay bent over their... Uh, you know, their patients, it is very important that they don't accidentally drool or, you know, uh, they don't drop any, you know, nasal secretions or whatever, you know, or uh, sweat anyways, you know. Um, and also it is a bit for their protection. But one of the most important things to understand about face masks is that they are only valid for around three to four hours because when you breathe into those masks, okay, when you throw out your air, okay most of it is stuck on the mask okay that's the problem that most people don't understand most of the air that you breathe out through your mouth be it through your nose it gets stuck in there most of it okay and considering that you would breathe out through your mouth now we have a problem because when you breathe out through your mouth you have a lot of humidity that you throw out from your body right starting from your lungs and especially some of the saliva right and the human mouth actually is one of the most uh, rich, right? It's one of the richest uh, mouths in the animal kingdom when it comes to bacteria and viruses and the such, okay? We have usually bacteria, there are a lot of those, because they have, you know, they have their own purpose in there, some of them maybe not, but usually they have different purposes, they exist in saliva because their purpose is to uh, help in eliminating some of the food particles that remain. You have to understand that um, digestion starts first of all in the mouth, okay? There in the mouth we start actually digesting things. So in order to eat healthily we actually need to chew our food a lot because one of the reasons why people, for example, dream, uh, dream, uh, sleep a lot is because they don't chew their food enough and therefore they make a lot of extra strain on their stomach. And the stomach requires a lot of 
energy to process all the tough foods that people eat so the problem that arises is that as they do that um, as the stomach actually uh, processes that it requires so much more energy compared to when you chew your food correctly and therefore you actually need to increase your sleep quota right you actually need to sleep much more now when you exhale on your mouth a lot of those bacteria and viruses are gonna get stuck on your mask because the mask again acts as protection but let's not forget that you breathe more outside than the wind would blow dust particles in your face especially in some places where the wind doesn't blow that often so that would be a problem because every time you breathe out you're technically impregnating that mask with bacteria and the such that you have in your mouth okay and those um, are not dangerous in there because they're technically outside your body but it's the same let's say microorganisms that can cause you you know the tooth problems that we all hate and you have to go to the dentist right and well that kind of sucks and well the problem with these bacteria is that when you impregnate your mask with that and so many people are simply so uh, you know they wouldn't buy extra masks because they would rather use the same old mask like indefinitely that is definitely very rude towards your body it is very unhealthy you have to understand this now i'm not going to fight against masks nor am i going to embrace them because i will always remain an engine of neutrality i will always remain neutral and present my standpoints on different things but well people most of them are simply not necessarily not ready they are they would be ready to simply bypass such things and you know fight for their rights there will be riots okay because people are waking up and are starting to realize that hey why the heck do i actually have to get fined if i don't wear a face mask there have been very few countries that said okay you know what we're not gonna do anything like sweden for example and i really appreciate the fact that you know they're not restraining anyone okay all these financial collapses that are gonna happen it's just a way through which uh, chaos is being created so that the same ones who have created this will appear in the end as the saviors it's called problem problem reaction solution namely someone causes a problem so that people would react to the problem and at the same time that person or group of persons also have the solution so they come up with the solution and people will be desperate to buy it now in terms of coronavirus you'll have to understand that there will never be a vaccine there will be a few attempts most likely probably some horrible ones but there will never ever be something like a vaccine towards this you have to really drill this into your mind because in all situations a disease will be much more important much more money making than the vaccine itself it's much more important to you know make the uh, money right this is a society of apathic people no one cares for you and society never cared for its citizens now one funny thing that i actually discovered from uh, you know people who work in hospitals they actually told me that the reason why there are so many for example in my country the reason why there are so many uh, patients okay that apparently are sick of uh, this covid is well everything is faked okay more or less okay like there are people who suffer from that but i heard something like that okay if you call yourself sick okay from covid and you come to a hospital right they pay you one thousand dollars to stay in there for two weeks okay and then you are set free it doesn't matter you get your money and they will put you in a list okay of people who have been ill of covid and you just have to sign it and that's it you get your money and you get to go away because you haven't been sick of that but you know you just helped uh, promote the system and there are so many people in my country, Romania, which is a very poor country from many standpoints. Theoretically, it's rich, but let's not dive into the uh, meoritical history of uh, my nation. And that's the point. So this is uh, one of the cases that shows clearly why so many people uh, appear as, you know, uh, having been infected by COVID. 
Now, of course, you might say that now nah, this can't be okay. Probably you're gonna sound very it's gonna sound very awkward, but worldwide, okay, there are billions of dollars, okay, and well, other currencies that are simply pumped into hospitals to stay closed so that they appear as uh, you know um, as full of people who are uh, you know sick of COVID. There have been in America numerous cases of people even if they got arrested okay uh, they actually jumped into hospitals right uh, they weren't allowed but they actually got in and they simply filmed them as being very empty but you know the press would always come and everything would be crammed in a very small place so that it would give the impression that the whole hospital is overcrowded right so you have to ask yourself some questions if all these are actually happening why is it that you actually need to wear a face mask okay if hospitals are many of them are actually empty and you know in my country there is this point okay at the same time you can actually have a family member come right if a family member of yours uh, you know is on the verge of dying you can actually call some folks and they will tell you wait um, we can actually take them to the hospital and uh, if they die in there you can sign a contract that uh, you know you mark them as having died because of COVID and we give you two thousand dollars which two thousand dollars in my country would be you know your salary for three months at least and you can be sure that many people will actually accept because you know the television lies that you know there uh, are always around 1200 new cases each and every day it's like always 1200 1300 new cases okay um so think about that like if there are 2000 1200 1300 cases okay for like uh at least a month okay more than a month actually you know the cases were like 500 uh, 600 more 700 more is like dude how come they're always increasing by hundreds like by 100 or by 100 it's like dude this is exponential growth if a if 1200 uh, people would get sick okay until they would be discovered most likely they would have infected other thousands of people but it's always 1200 new other cases 1200 new other cases then it's uh, nowadays it's 300 almost so you know they just increase it a bit by bit and you know they made this huge blunder on television you know like they took 6000 tests okay and they ended up with 8000 people who were ill it's like it's like dude how how retarded can you actually be but no one cares because most people are brain dead anyway so you know it's it's actually it's actually very fun so you know if people are actually paid and yes i've heard like trustworthy people who told me of numerous cases it's like it's no wonder and in my country where you know it's not that uh the left hand doesn't know what the right hand does okay in romania one finger doesn't know what the other fingers do okay the, what the other two nearby fingers do or the other one in certain cases okay but you get the idea there is no such thing as management okay no one knows how to manage resources and the such in a country like mine i'm i'll always be surprised how the fuck do they actually get to count 1200 cases like dude do you want to actually lie me that hospitals actually communicate in between one another how many new cases they have it's like dude what the fuck people are so retarded in many places in here that i would be surprised if they even know how to count it's like okay at a certain time here in my country they wanted to pass a law in which uh people even if they didn't uh, pass the national exams they could actually hire themselves as nurses it's like dude that guy or girl were not necessarily idiot enough okay to not pass the national examinations but they actually didn't care about themselves to pass such examinations okay how do you think they're actually gonna care about other people because if you have if you are to become a nurse right uh, it's you know or an assistant okay a medical assistant right someone who helps them with different things okay how on earth are you expecting those people to actually care for other people like if you don't care for yourself you simply can't care for others okay those people simply believe many of these people who failed the national examinations and we actually had like 40 almost 50 percent uh promotion as of late like our schooling system is like disastrous 
at a certain year we had 33 percent like dude what the fuck 33 percent of our children only simply graduated okay and i don't know if those numbers were even more grim than that but okay i really don't care about it but you have to think about these again and again okay like why on earth are you even getting fined okay why why are you now suddenly um obliged to wear a face mask okay now let's actually think about this okay if you look in history there have been other plagues okay like we have the black plague yes and if you're wondering how it could have spread yes you'll be lied that uh, you know it spread through uh, rodents okay through mice a and now here comes the bomb question okay back then there were no trains there were no vehicles that could carry those mice in mass okay many people will say but even one if would carry yeah i'm sure that people that would could only carry things with carts okay i, I i'm sure they would actually volunteer to take some uh, some rats with them right so that they uh they spread the disease but hey check out the actual facts okay in the medieval times okay even in those times people would mingle with different uh diseases okay because you have to understand the black plague was also fabricated but you'll probably wonder but hey they didn't have telescopes okay they didn't have uh you know they didn't have microscopes okay they didn't have a lot of things but even in those times and even in ancient times people knew that certain diseases can be actually caused by uh, cultivating certain uh, flora okay certain uh, fungi okay because if you have certain fungi okay they create a certain environment which allows the development of certain bacteria as well as certain things most likely those people didn't exactly know the name of those bacteria okay probably they didn't know about bacteria and the such but they knew for sure through testing of course that if they would do that okay they would achieve a certain result and you have to understand that the same oligarchy okay that ruled those times then are kind of you know the same oligarchy that rule nowadays okay it's just passing down their own power and you have to understand that if you use powerful psychics and the such most likely people will probably abandon this video by now but when you have people who know things beyond the physical okay they may not necessarily need to explain how certain things would happen but you see they just have to tell the right people how to do this and how to do that how such a disease could uh, spread well think about that how could mice spread because let's think of it back in the times going by cart or by horse were the only ways okay to reach another town there weren't too many transports because there were a lot of thugs and you would risk you would have great chances of dying either by beasts right or dying by thugs right um so the very simple point was that there were no ways of mass transportation okay except uh you know special transports that would uh gather a large amount of grains right by ship or you know by army transportation something like that and you know they would go in mass and that would more or less be a hindrance to most thugs because they would hunt in small packs and you have to understand that the black plague was actually prearranged okay people who knew how to prepare it okay they would actually deliver it in numerous parts of the world and that's how it suddenly sprang and it's always gonna be something that's gonna be blamed right like with the coronavirus you know it's it was from bats okay like the bat actually had it and then they said it was another animal and then they said even cats can catch the cunt virus and you know it's like there's always this easy part okay that science does in which you know something uh, you know the guilt is blamed on something and people simply no longer care okay like yeah sure it was from a chinese from the chinese people who did bats okay like uh, it, it sure wasn't created in in laboratories okay one of our greatest medics okay someone who actually worked in you know uh decades of work okay in some of the most advanced hospitals okay with countless of patients the person actually said okay and they are definitely not the only one and they said dude this disease is not a natural one okay there are so little chances of this disease to be natural there are so many 
sudden spikes of it okay there are over 12 known uh, versions of it of it each affecting different parts of the human body okay so this is nothing else than a human construct okay the coronavirus is a virus that has existed probably for eons but you know it never took it it never took us into account this seriously so we also didn't uh, do much have you ever known or got to know the fact that coronavirus also had another outburst somewhere in uh, southwestern Europe somewhere around I don't know Italy Spain I think Spain or France so southern France in uh, around the 1950s something like that it lasted for around one year many people died yes but no one did a, no one did a damn thing and guess what the disease simply vanished and guess what the disease vanished yes many people died but you know how an outbreak like this simply vanishes is very simple the virus simply adapts itself to the new bodies because all the virus wants is to simply exist it doesn't want to kill you it's exactly like us like humans it wants to find the medium and coexist with whatever is there it's just that at a time, especially at the beginning, it may be a bit more aggressive, just like we humans overexpand in nature's territories and well, more or less most people are simply too apathic to actually care for the animals that remain without, uh, without their natural environment, so that's why many animals actually die, right? And the Kant virus is kind of, uh, you know, representative of the way we aggressively expand, right? Where we actually shouldn't that much so you have to ask yourself now if the mask is not protecting yourself because it definitely does not protect you and secondarily those highly sterile masks that you're wearing most of them are created in India and also in China okay by people that work in horrible conditions you have to understand that the, the parts of the world where those masks come from it's you know they're very unfortunate people working in very miserable conditions so you have to ask yourself, those masks, most likely I wouldn't be surprised if they'd be radioactive or whatever, okay? And, well, there are so many things unfolding and I simply don't want to make a seminar out of this because, well, I don't want to create very lengthy videos, but this video is just to try to raise, you know, the awareness of people. Why do you think this uh, outbreak suddenly is a not no, not not even national importance okay it is of global importance why do you think everyone has to be so-called vaccinated okay it's like when the fuck did society actually care for its uh for its citizens okay for its national citizens okay like the society as you know a national entity but now you want to tell me okay you want to lie me that hey uh, the whole planet actually cares about you okay like uh, there is this sudden care for all the citizens on the planet. Like, what is it actually sought after, okay? What is it that makes these vaccines so important, right? Nanochips or whatever. Like, what can there be? Now, sure, many people will start saying that, hey, no, vaccines aren't bad, okay? Like, the vaccine is a double-edged sword, okay? With global vaccination, you can actually ensure the uh, new outburst okay a new virus that will be inactive and considering that most people eat junk food it's easy to change some ingredients in junk food and well you put something new that will trigger the activation of the virus it's not important if you trigger the virus everywhere it's just important that you create uh, you know enough individuals and then you start an outbreak and people will start panicking and you don't have to do much else because people will do that for you because of desperation why this well from a spiritual standpoint the you know huge numbers of parasites demons and whatever you want to call them they just feast on pain on fear and well control hatreds uh, self-hatred and the such the more fear and panic you create on the planet, the more people you drive crazy and these states of craziness actually make them even more vulnerable to such uh, infections, okay, spiritual infections. And well, it goes much deeper, but you know, this is just a bit of eye-opening facts, right? So 
all this being said um, I assure you that whatever is going to come is not gonna be uh, too awesome it's gonna be um, represented by a lot more restrictions because there's a fight for our consciousness there, are, there is a fight for our freedoms and well we have to understand that some beings okay human or not they are simply fighting for your freedoms okay as long as you know as long as you're uh, spending time on the uh, social networks right you're getting distracted all these uh, all these days instead of actually taking the time to become more introspective and discover uh, some of the truths okay and help your third eye pop open so that you can actually see and pierce through the veil and see some of the illusions well unfortunately you will probably not have much of a very happy um, outcome but again I don't want to create mass hysteria okay to each their own there will be a lot of problems that will appear and the masks will most likely be the least but just remember they don't protect you against viruses so whether you choose to fight for your rights and well the rights of your children to come that is your choice to make it is our purpose to make sure that everyone is warned properly and announced so that you know sooner or later we get to raise the awareness of people okay all this being said hopefully you like the type of content that i'm creating feel free to like and subscribe feel free to share this with everyone so that we help raise the awareness of people and feel free to present these cases of my country they are well documented i can say uh, i cannot provide much proof because well yes indeed it is verbally presented but i do trust those people and Romania is one of the most corrupt countries in Europe, so always expect the worst when it comes um, when it comes to internal decisions. Uh, not everywhere, okay, but especially the southeastern part, that's where the most poverty, well, actually the northeastern, eastern, and somewhat southeastern part, um, usually that's where the most hatred and, you know, as the American says, the hillbillies are, okay. Take care. Take care of yourself and your loved ones, enjoy life, become more introspective, you are loved and appreciated, you are more than good enough, you are loved and appreciated again, Ferenc and Board signing out.